Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're just continuing with our project Helix build. So uh, I'll just talk to you more about uh, what it is that we're doing uh, for this Helix build. So you can see we uh, framed up where the Helix is gonna go. Um, it's just temporary. I do have to put legs in here, but I've ran out of my uh, levelers that I use to make the legs stable. So I'm waiting on an order of those. But uh, I did tack it up temporary, so I know how I'm gonna frame this. And now I know how the helix is gonna fit the, the framing. So yeah, so I last week we left you guys with all the dimensions and what we were gonna do to cut for the staging, um, sorry, for the helix pieces. So we know that we're cutting them at eight inches wide and we're cutting them at 31 and a quarter long. And we put a 45 degree on both of those. As we start laying them out to come together, all I did was, was cut a groove in the middle so that I could put just a small piece of masonite and I used that as the biscuit. So I, I just cut this scrap piece so I can explain. All I've done was cut, I cut a one inch, I set my table saw at one inch and I've set it so that I'm only cutting out the center layer of the pieces that we've already pre-cut at eight inch. So I, I cut that and then I make my biscuit out of a piece of masonite just so it slides and it fits in that portion of it. And with that, it brings us to each piece that we're making. Now I left that piece to show. So you can see that it was cut off with the table saw, the groove. I fit that piece of masonite in and then I screwed, um, sorry, I, I glued and nailed and hold it, everything together, which makes a nice strong piece. So I've cut a piece of masonite to match the same angles as I did for all the pieces for the helix. And all I'm gonna end up doing now is I'm going to glue and tack nail with a brad nailer those pieces so that I can go all the way around and they're gonna overlap on the opposite joint line. So this will bring it all the way around and then make this all secure and it'll all become one piece once it's built. So this is my guy, Dallas. I, I'm sure you guys hear him tick ticking everywhere in the videos. Um, he's always on my intros. Um, he's my two year old, uh, three year old now. He just had a birthday. He is my three year old golden retriever and he is always with me, faithful companion in the basement for the construction build of the Green Bay and Western Lines. So we just wanted to introduce you guys to Dallas. So I'm just gonna continue on with the Helix build. I'm gonna overlap and I'm gonna continue building my layers. I'll get to this point, I get this thing secured and then I'll get back to you guys with uh, the rest of the build. But uh, that's pretty much all I can really report this week. So tune in for next week. We'll finish, or we'll not finish, we'll continue the Helix build. And I'll show you how I am going to go about to achieve the proper um, heights for the rotation. And how I'm going to have this connect with the rest of the layout. So make sure you keep on and then you can see what we're up to.